everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my process for getting into my son cosplay. This is episode two of my monthly get into cosplay series, so let's get into it. As usual, I start out by setting up my lights, filming free transitions, and grabbing the outfit out of my cosplay closet. I actually have to grab the son's corset off of Techno's hanger because I actually use the same one for both of them. Next, I get right into my base outfit and start snapping together and tightening my corset. Once that's all on and tied, it's time for me to put in the contacts. I am actually switching up my contacts this time for Sun uh, because of the new UV contacts I got from Mocha Queen. More on that later. And it's makeup time! For his makeup, I actually do a full face of face paint, starting with white in the shape of a moon. I found that just using a little white face paint can make animatronic cosplays look a lot more unnatural and smooth. I also use this gold face paint to fill in the rest of the other side of my face. It takes a second to dry. Then it's time to fill in the eyebrows. I use an orange yellow for his, uh, and the eye makeup, which is surprisingly detailed. I start off by making an orange to yellow gradient on the lid of my eye with eyeshadow. Then I do a line of orange face paint, use like eyeliner, and spike it like rays of the sun on both ends of my eye. Then I go back and take yellow face paint and fill in more sun rays. So I have a confession. When I was filming this, my phone footage corrupted, and didn't film most of me putting on the cheek and neck makeup, but I promise I'll explain everything. For the cheeks, I start with a circle of yellow eyeshadow to plan out where the spiral goes, and then carefully paint a mirrored orange spiral onto both of the cheeks. On the neck, I start with a similar yellow circle, which is kind of meant to be something like a voice box, I don't know, and then outline it in orange and draw the necklines. I also add these little orange dots next to the lines to look like little screw bolts. Lastly, I add a bunch of little dots of orange, yellow, and white all over the blush area as freckles. After the makeup's done, I start to attach the centerpiece. I sewed this entire piece by myself without a pattern, and I can't say it's perfect, but I do like it a lot. I will say it's a pain to attach right now. I actually just use safety pins in the front and the back, and if I need more, I can put them there too. Once that's all on, it's time to put on the wig. The blonde wig I use is from Epic Cosplay, it's the Hermes style. I highly recommend if you're looking for a little bit higher quality, more expensive wig. This wig is always super easy to deal with and just pops right on. Once that's on, I put on the top of the headband headpiece and then it's time to accessorize. This neck piece I also made myself and it just claps right on. And the bells for the wrists just slide over my hands. I wanted to leave this in so you guys can hear what this actually sounds like. They are so loud. Anyways. And that's the full fit. It's time to go and film. Earlier I was talking about how I'm using different contacts this time, and I want to show you guys why. So I get my contacts from Moco Queen, and recently they've been releasing a bunch of UV designs that I've been messing around with. These are some of the ones that I have. I highly recommend going and checking them out on their website. I thought that they would look really cool on Sun, and oh boy was I right. He came out so spooky, guys. <laughs> As always, you guys can use code SHERBERTQUAKE over there for 20% off your order. Anyways, back to the cosplays. So when I film on TikTok, I don't usually put the full cosplay on because you don't actually see the bottom half of me for most of the videos, but I actually have made pants and shoes to go with him for when I go to cons, as well as these super spooky fingers that I wear sometimes. Actually, this February, I'm going to be at Vegas' local con Level Up Expo from the 17th to 19th. So if you want to see this cosplay in person, Come and try and find me. I'm planning on doing Sun, Techno, and Moxie from Hell of a Boss, so come check it out. Anyways, here's me getting out of cosplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you feel so inclined, maybe like the video or drop a subscribe. I'm gonna be posting one of these every month, so give me suggestions in the comments on who you wanna see next. See y'all next time.